Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. So in this video, we are going to discuss Geeks for Geeks problem of the day and today's problem is copy set bits in range and it is an easy level problem. So the problem statement itself is very simple. It's just like yesterday's problem. You just have to figure out what are the set bits and if you know basic bit manipulation, you will be able to solve this problem easily. So let us discuss what this problem says. So they say that we have been given two numbers x and y and we have been given a range L to R. So remember that this particular range that they have been given contains one base indexing since they are starting from one. So like normally we would consider the rightmost bit the 0th bit but here it would be the 1th bit. Right. So what we do? Uh, we copy the set bits of y in the range L to R to x. Remember this point we copy the set bits of y. Right. So let me just explain you with the help of an example what they are trying to say. So basically if a number is x like this. Right. And we have a number y like this 0 0 1 and 0 0 right. So these are two numbers. So we see that this bit is set. So we have to copy this bit to this particular position. If this bit is set, we have to copy this bit to this particular position. So after a copy, these two zeros will become 1. This will be equal to 1, this will be equal to 1 right. And let's say this was also 1, this one was also 1. So if I try to copy it here, it will not make any change because it is already 1 right. So you must have observed till now, whenever we have a 1 here, whenever we have a 1 in y, we have to make the corresponding bit 1 in x no matter what bit was present here. If it was 0, we will have to make it 1, even if it is 1, we have to make it 1 as well. Right. So in both the cases it is 1. Does it sound similar to something else? Yes, it is very similar to the OR operation. Right. What we do in OR operation, if we have a 1 right, and we take OR. If it is 0, it is going to be 1 and if we have a 1, it is still going to be 1. So that means for the range L to R, for the range L to R, what I have to do is I just have to take the OR operation of the bits. Now we discussed about the bits that are set. What about these bits which are not set? So even if we take OR in this case, let's say the original bit in X was 1 and we take its OR with 0 it is still going to be 1 and if the original bit was 1 and if you take its OR with 0, it is going to be 0. Like this is the bit in X and this is the bit in Y. So you see that if the bit in Y is 0, so the bit in X is going to remain unchanged. right? And if the bit in Y is 1, the bit in X is going to be changed to 1. This is exactly what we want. So what you can essentially do is for all the bits in the range L to R, we can perform a bitwise OR operation. right? So this is very simple. Now to perform a bitwise OR operation or to perform an OR operation on each of the bits, you need two things, right? So the first thing is that you need to have the information of the bit in Y, right? Whether it is a 0 or 1. Now once you know this, you need to know which bit I am talking about. Let's say I am talking about the ith bit, right? Now I need to know first what is the ith bit in Y and I can just take the OR operation with the ith bit in X, right? So how do we do these two things? So the first step. First step is to find, find ith bit in y, right. So this is my first step. So like yesterday also I discussed a couple of ways of doing this. Now we are going to use a method in which we don't change the original value of y. So what I can do is I can find the ith bit of y in one single operation like this. So how does this actually work? This particular expression y right shift i will right shift the y number i times. So basically what will happen if my number is like this, let's say, and this is the ith bit that I want. If I perform y right shift i, the number will become this, right? That means the whole number will be shifted to the right i times. So the bit which was present at the ith position will come at the rightmost position. So now it is easy for me to find the rightmost bit and I can easily find. So for example, if I have some number z, I want to find whether its rightmost bit is set or not. I can just easily do z and 1. So this will give 1 if my rightmost bit is set, otherwise it will give 0, right? So if this whole expression, if this whole expression gives 1, that means my ith bit is set, otherwise my ith bit is not set. So let's say I stole this whole information in some variable called bit, right? Once I have this information of the ith bit in y, now I want to make the ith bit in x, right? So I want to do its bitwise operation with 
this particular bit value right so how do i uh, like make this operation with the ith bit of x for this i can left shift this particular bit value i times so basically if i have a one right and i want to set let's say the third bit so let's say x is like this so this is 0 1 2 and this is 3 right now i want to set the third bit so i would left shift this particular element three times so when i left shift it like this one left shift three it will become one zero 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 now i can take this bitwise or of x with this particular new value that i have formed right so the operation that i have to basically do is step two so this is my step two taking or with ith bit ith bit of of x so this operation is very simple i can write x is equals to x or bit so this is going to be 1 or 0 depending upon what value we found here and i can left shift it i times right so this is going to update my value of x so if you do this for all the bits in the range l to r and remember i told you that this is going to be one base mixing so initially before starting anything i can just decrement l and r one time so this would work and uh, you will be able to set all the bits in the range l to r so let us see how the code works so i basically decremented both of the integers l and r and i just travels to the range l to r so since i also want to include the rth integer or the rth bit i have like run a loop till i is less than r plus 1 right now i get the bit value as discussed by doing y right shift i and 1 and i just take the bitwise or so this is shortened notation where i take x or is equal to bit left shift i and then i can finally return the value of x so this was all about today's problem of the day let me just quickly submit and show you that this particular solution works so you will see that this passes all the test cases and that was all about today's problem of the day I hope that you guys were able to understand the solution. If you guys did, then consider dropping a like on this video and don't forget to like share your thoughts in the comments because your engagement with this particular video really helps the YouTube algorithm to understand that this video is actually helpful for you and it will be able to reach more number of people like you who want to keep solving new problems. So I see a lot of people who watch these videos have not subscribed yet. In case you are one of them, then definitely consider subscribing. It's always free of course and you can always unsubscribe if you don't find the videos interesting later. So till the next video drops, keep sharing the channel with your friends, keep coding, stay safe, bye bye.